Good Tuesday morning. Those of you who've been following me on a regular basis know that our Bible engagement project only has six days of material. So on Tuesday mornings, I've been doing what I call Pastor Pat's Potpourri, just a mixture of biblical stuff. At the risk of losing all of you, I'm going to try my hand at children's ministry. If your kids or your grandkids are connected to our church, please share my Tuesday video with them. Hi kids, I'm Pastor Pat from First Assembly of God in Giddings, Texas. Some of you know me as Pappy. So, if you're under 13 years old, you can call me Pastor Pappy. Tomorrow at church, we're going to hear the Bible story about Daniel and the lion's den. This Bible story shows us how God listens even when it feels like no one else is listening. Daniel was in a situation where the only way his life would be saved was by him trusting that God would save him. It's a good thing that Daniel had a great relationship with God and he prayed to God every day. Now before I share today's Bible story, let me introduce you to Dash and Carrington. Hey everybody, I am Dash. And I'm Carrington. And this is Challenge Accepted. Welcome back to another excited edition of Challenge Accepted. Each week, we promise to accept the most crazy, ridiculous challenges. So what do we have today? Let's find out. Today's challenge is called Decibel Disaster. For this challenge, one person will wear noise-canceling headphones while the other person repeats a phrase. The person wearing the headphones must correctly guess the phrase being said in under 60 seconds. Oh, cool. Have you ever worn noise-canceling headphones? Uh, no. I'll have you know that my headphones are super cheap and I can barely hear what's playing. Well, this type is crazy powerful. Put these bad boys on and you can't hear anything. Wait, like you can't hear like anything anything? It's like you're in outer space. Wait, is space quiet? Isn't it like a vacuum or something? But, but vacuums are loud, aren't they? No, I meant like, oh, never mind. That's gonna take too long to explain. Decibel disaster? Challenge accepted. Whoa, these look crazy cool. If I wear them, can I really hear a vacuum from space? That's, that's not at all what I said. Okay, well, can I go first? I wanna listen to some astronaut jams. <laughs> all right, can you hear me? Whoa, these are so cool, I can't even hear you. Can you take them off though? What? Can you can you take them off? I can't. This does sound like a vacuum from space. We haven't space. started the challenge yet. I I can't hear you. Wait, can you? These are so can cool. Can you take them off the challenge? Well, oh, it's yet. the challenge. Yeah. Challenge. No, yes, no. yes, the challenge. Take them off. Okay, shake my the head. Shake my head. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulder. Take, head, take challenge take, accepted. Take take the challenge head, accepted. It's not here yet. Dash, we haven't started the game. Yet. What? We haven't started yet. I got it! We haven't started did I, yet. Wait, did I get it? I got it! I got it! I got it! No, Dash. We didn't even start yet. Oh. Okay, just put them back on and let's give it a go. <sighs> sure thing. I'm a pro at listening to people when I can't hear them. What? Are we, are we going? Okay, you ready? Are we starting? Yes. Yes, okay. Milkshake the dog. Building a tree. Milkshake the dog was a sweet little poodle. Building a tree with a pool. Milkshake the dog was a sweet little poodle. Milkshake the dog was a sweet milkshake little poodle. The chocolate, a chocolate milkshake was at the pool. Okay, well Dash and I give this challenge another try. You can listen to today's Bible story. It's about a guy named Daniel who desperately needed God to listen to him. A fry named Daniel desperately eats hot dogs and listens to hens. We might be a while. Did I get it? Now it's time to open our Bibles to a book that you may have heard about, but might not have read. It's in the middle of the Bible in a book called Daniel. Daniel loved God and he desired to remain faithful to God even when those around him did not. And you know what made Daniel special? Daniel prayed to God. A lot. Daniel 6.10 says, When Daniel went to his house where 
he had windows in his upper chamber open toward Jerusalem. He got down on his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. Daniel regularly prayed to God three times a day and he wasn't going to stop because Daniel knew that God listens to him when he prays. Let's check back in with Dash and Carrington. Milkshake the dog was a sweet pool noodle? No. Time's up. Time's up? I got it. I got it. Just I got it. it. I got it. No. No, you didn't. Wait, so was I right? No. The phrase was milkshake the dog was a sweet little poodle. That's literally what I said. No, you didn't. You said everything except for that. <sighs> it's incredibly hard to listen. And let me tell you, I really tried. I believe you. Trust me, it kind of reminds me of today's Bible story. Every time Daniel prayed to God, God heard him. But didn't Daniel pray a lot though? Did God ever say, I know where this prayer's going. I'm just gonna check out for a while. <laughs> no, God always hears us when we pray. I know Daniel was grateful that God heard his prayer and I'm so thankful too. If there's one thing to remember today, it's this, God listens when I pray. No matter what is happening in the world, God will always pay attention when you talk to him. That's so crazy that the creator of the universe will actually listen to me. And let me tell you, I have a lot to say. And God would love to hear all of it. This week, our challenge to you is to spend five minutes each day in prayer with God. You can tell him about your day or how you're feeling. Or you can tell him about something you're afraid about or something you're looking forward to. Set aside five minutes each day and pray to God. And I promise you, he'll listen to every word you have to say. Well, that's all the time we have here today. We'll see you next time here at Challenge Accepted. Daniel prayed and believed that God would always take care of him. He knew that no matter what challenges came his way, he could always pray to God. More than anything, he knew that God listens when I pray. And God doesn't only listen to Daniel, he listens to you and me too. God cares about your life, every detail, and he wants you to pray to him every day, just like Dash and Carrington challenged you today. Praying is simply talking to God. Pastor Pappy's gonna wrap up today's Bible story by praying to God for you. God, thank you that you hear me when I pray. Today, I pray for these special children. I know you love each and every one of them, just like you love Daniel and just like you love me. Some of these children are part of my biological family, like Leo, Eli, Jojo, PJ, Emma Ray, Iris and Titus. Some of them are part of my spiritual family, like Benjamin and Penelope. Jesus, help each one of these children watching Pastor Pappy today to accept the challenge to pray five minutes every day. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Never forget, Jesus loves you. Pastor Pappy does too.